guys welcome to me here tutorials in this video i'm going to give you a demo of char data types in the last part if you didn't see my last few two videos then please watch it first because it's necessary to learn android okay guys let's move forward okay guys there are two types of data types uh, primitive data type and reference data type you can see here primitive data types include byte short long int load double etc and its example i have given here data type uh, variable name and its value you can see here for each and every data type okay guys now let's go to reference data types okay guys reference variable are used to create uh, using defined constructors of the classes and the default value of any reference variable is null so you can see here that I have given an example of demo class creating its object and passing its parameter uh, 10 okay so it's constructor so let's build it opening its notepad and here class demo here int a and demo here int x now assign the value of x to a so a equal to x okay now we want show method so void show for displaying the value of a Okay, system dot out dot print and and here a and here a okay guys so now let's create a class for the main method so public class rd demo is for reference data type demo okay so public static word main and okay guys here now we have to initialize the object so demo d demo this is the object of the demo class equal to new demo just passing 10 in it okay so now d dot show to display the value of a okay guys so but we have to save it first so its name is rd demo so rd demo dot java this notation are called camel notation guys just remain it okay let's save it now let's move forward to run it so rd demo okay without any error so compile it now let's run it okay guys our program is completely running guys so now let's take an example for primitive data type so let's just remove this class okay now here i am taking byte by equal to 100 and just printing it out here system dot out dot print alan and the value of b and would be the plus b byte that's for the byte okay so guys now okay guys so now let's run it so java c r d demo dot java 
okay so now java rd demo okay you can see the value of byte at 100 now let's check for long you can see here that while assigning the value to long you have to write l at the end so long b equal to passing two more zeros and here we are writing capital l and it's for the long okay guys so now let's run it okay so for float you can just remain it here that you want f at the end and for character we want single quote and boolean returns either true or false or you can say zero or one okay so guys thanks for watching this video and please keep liking and subscribing my channel